Hello everyone in Cyberworld. Welcome back to another video. I'm Jennifer. And I'm Richard. And this is our channel we call Poor Man's DIY. This week's video is going to be very interesting. We had a viewer out there asking us how we do photo transfers. Well, we did some research and we're going to do a project and we're going to see how we can do this. Perfect! So the truth is, we have never done photo transfers before. I happened to buy it uh, a long time ago and thought it was something neat, but it wasn't something that I was ever prepared to, to, to do. And I had totally forgot about it until this viewer asked us how we use our printer for that. And since we don't actually use it, I thought, well, let's take a look. And we came across some ideas on the internet and some other YouTubers came up with some brilliant ideas and there's a whole bunch of different ways of doing it. So we wanted to try some things to see if we can be a little more creative. And so what we're gonna do is, not only are we gonna really do the standard, which a lot of people seem to be doing is, they transfer it onto a sheet of wood. But we thought, well, if you could do it on wood, can you do it on a sheet of metal? Why so, not? <laughs> we'll give that a try. And last but not least, I was thinking of something else, and so we went out and bought some glass sheets. And I'm gonna try it on this, but this one here is something that I wanna do a little different, and I'm not sure how it's gonna work out. But anyhow, to be honest, we're not sure how any of these are gonna work out. So the idea here was we're gonna show you our attempts at it, fail or succeed, this is what we're gonna make. And if it doesn't work, that will be the video, unfortunately. We might do some more practice, but we don't have a bunch of materials and spare metal and glass that we can keep trying over and over. So this is gonna be a one-time test option for us and see how well it works. Uh, hopefully things work out well, so let's take a look at how we're gonna do this. But before we do that, hit that subscribe button and leave your comments that you dislike or like this and how we can improve our video. So in the research that we've done, we've seen different ways that people print uh, their, their pictures, which is gonna be transferred onto the other object. Um, I came across one that was actually quite interesting. And what they did was they took label paper and they printed on that. But what was really interesting is that they actually tore off the top layer of all the paper labels, threw that away and used the backing. So that's what we've done here. Um, our adorable granddaughter, by the way. So anyhow, uh, this, this is actually not the paper for the labels, but the backing. I believe the concept behind this is that this stuff is very slick and it's something that can be peeled off of easily. So using a laser printer, we printed the image on here and the concept should be a case of, we're going to put a product onto the wood, we're going to stick this on this and when that product dries, we'll peel it off and hopefully the toner particles will stick to the wood and then we will have the photo on the wood itself. So we flip the image into a negative and then print it on the paper. What we're going to do now is take the paper and place it on the wood and when you peel it, it's going to become a positive picture. All right, based on our research, we have learned that the best thing to use for this is something called Mod Podge. I've never used this before, and uh, but looking on the internet, there's a ton of people that talk about it and use it for a whole variety of different things. So we're gonna give this one a try. What we're gonna be doing is simply laying down a layer of Mod Podge using a foam brush, and then we will add the picture on top of this and allow it to dry. I'm going to be the first guinea pig. Remember, if you saw my last video, the secret to cleaning your hands when you get glue on it is... May the force be with us. Yes. Now let's see how this goes.
Ta-da! That's not done yet. Okay. All right, now, what we've seen is most people leave this on overnight. Um, the particular video that we saw, the, the person used it for about 45 minutes or overnight, and then, unlike most of the videos, it was just a matter of just peeling this straight off. A lot of other videos that I've seen is that you have to wet this down and you gradually take off the paper. Um, but we like the simplicity one, so we're gonna try this where it's just gonna peel it off and we're gonna do a bunch of this and hopefully it works. So now it's a matter of waiting, but before we do that, let's try and start on our other project. So yes. you have the metal. All okay, right. so next we're gonna do a metal one. See if this image will work on the metal piece. Now we're going to do something that, like I had mentioned, that's a little bit different. I'm going to be using glass sheets. Um, I haven't seen anybody else do this, so I'm not sure how well this is going to work out. I have a vision in my mind, and uh, whether it works or not, I, we will soon find out, I guess. So here's the concept that I'm going to be doing. I'm actually going to be using three different sheets. We're going to first start off with a full black and white sheet of the entire image. And then after that, I'm gonna do on the second pane, I'm going to do a color version of part of the subject matter. And then on another third piece of glass, I'm going to do a third image on top of these. The idea would be that when we stack these three uh, glasses, one in front of the other, I'll have to figure out how I wanna mount those. But once we do that, I'm hoping it'll give it a kind of a three dimensional look. I don't know how it's going to work, but here goes nothing. So here we are a few days later than what we had expected. Um, it turns out that we might have told you a teeny tiny white lie when we first recorded the opening uh, and we had stated that this was going to be a one time attempt, do or die, whether we get it right or wrong, and we would show you the results on that. Well, here are the results of our first one. But we wanted to go ahead and perfect it, so we did it again and again and again until we got it right. So now we're gonna show you what we did to perfect it. So what we found on the first attempts was that there's a lot of uh, blanks on the image that didn't actually stick to the wood or the other surfaces. Um, I determined that it was because the glue was not holding on tight to the surface. Uh, the reason for this is because we did not go, do a really good job putting pressure on it to make sure that the whole picture stuck, or at least the vast majority of it. So what we have done time and time again, we finally found something that works for us, and that was this <laughs> scrap piece of wood, which used to be a clothes hanging rod, uh, that I wasn't sure I'll ever be able to make use of it. Since I don't have a rolling pin, this just worked out fine. What we did with, with this was very simple. We did the exact same process as what we've shown, where we glued it on here, but once it was on here, we rolled it and rolled it and rolled it so that it made sure that the Mod Podge fully covered and it stuck and there were no, no dents and creases and bumps or whatnot, no excess glue in some places and, and not enough in others. And uh, it looks like it did really well. So now we're gonna to take a look and see how well it actually did. Yes. So this is my final test result and let's see how I did. I'm gonna go ahead and peel it. Ah, wonderful. It came out very good. And here is our attempt on a sheet of metal. Oh. oh, sorry, not so good. So on our first try, we were able to wash this and take this whole thing off. So we tried again, but as you can see, it did not work again. 
So what we're gonna do is wash it one more time and try a third attempt on it to see if it'll work. But we probably won't be able to show you the results. And now I'm gonna show you what happened with my brilliant attempt of photo transfer onto glass. And this is the first layer. Okay, it's black and white. It may be kind of hard to tell, but when you put a white backing to it, you'll see. In reality, it may look kind of bad with all the um, spots and whatnot, but with the black and white look, it gives it kind of a, a, a um, nostalgic old picture that, that, that came out of a closet from 100 years ago. And I really like how it turned out. I thought about cleaning this off and starting it again, uh, because this was not the first attempt either. I got a couple tries and, and this came out, but when this came out, I liked it, so I stuck with it. Now, here's what we tried to do with this, and this was the first pane, and here's what came out on the second pane. This here is a color version, and it turned out really, really well. And lastly, the third sheet, which also is in color. Now, when you combine these, and I'm just gonna stack these on top of each other. Real quickly. When you stack them together and place them like this, it actually worked out quite well and it gives a 3D look. Just has to do some cleaning. So the idea that I have now is since it worked is, I'm probably gonna get some wood and uh, slice some slots in there so that I can uh, separate the glass, oh, maybe a quarter of an inch or so, whatever I can find out is the best look of it, and then uh, put them into the, the holder and then kind of make a new picture frame for this one here that hopefully really will look more 3D. So this turned out to me to be quite successful. I, I would like in the future maybe to kind of play around and come up with some different ideas. Um, but I think the next project now for me is to come up with a something that would be a good display for this. Have to be careful because I don't want to just sit around, someone could grab this. This is really sharp glass. I don't want anybody to get cut and I don't want it to fall over easy. So I think at some point I am gonna to have to make a frame of some sort or a uh, shadow box type thing that will actually hold all the panes in there. And we will, we will hopefully make a video on that one sometime as well. To our viewer who brought this to our attention, we hope you enjoyed our video and I hope this explained and did some answers about the photo transfers. Uh, next week, we were actually planning on doing a, a um, DIY craft type project and this one uh, just kind of jumped at us and we decided to take this on next. So we're going to actually try to replicate yet another one of our workshop projects that we did in Japan. Uh, and we're now, uh, I think we're able to, to replicate that and hopefully we can come up with something that's fully made by us and not by all the supplies that were provided to us at a workshop. So until we meet again, bye-bye.